Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm excited today because we are going thrifting. I haven't been at all in the new year. I'm really excited about this one. Today I want to check out a thrift store I've never been to. It's essentially part of the dump. From the things I've sort of heard, it's things that were taken to the dump that don't necessarily need to go to the dump and they have a thrift store there. So all of the money that this place generates goes back into the community as well, which I think is really super cool. I'm excited to look at some home decor pieces it's been a minute, so come with me. It was not great. I was expecting better, but as it is with thrifting, you never know. So, I think I'm gonna go to the Habitat Restore. There's two of them. I'm really looking for a frame, a gold frame, for a print I have. It's kind of like the number one thing I'm looking for. Anywho, let's go. This is a pretty sick light fixture for 25 bucks. Some stuff's a really good deal here. Some stuff, not so much. These little bows are so cute. Okay, look at these tables. They are $35 each. They're kind of like scuffed up, but they're really cool. I mean, I know this is a fireplace mantle, but it's also could be used as like a floating shelf, you know? Okay, I didn't know that they had clothing here, but this top is cute. I saw this storm door. It's like brand new, black. It gets, it's literally beautiful. I thought, wow, this is what I've been wanting. And it doesn't fit. It's like two inches too big. I could cry, because it's only 150. <sighs> And he comes with like all the pieces. This is such a good deal for whoever gets it. They've got like all this fencing. Like this is one of those for doing like the panel privacy with wood. They've got like post kits for like doing wrought iron fencing. They've just got so much random stuff here. I saw too like um, concrete gray, brand new inbox Blanco sinks. This one's biscuit. Like, they've got this Blanco sink. Crazy. Balusters for your stairs. Sets of these like matte black ones. For 10 bucks. Little cans of paint. For 5 bucks. Okay. 
but store's so cool. It really truly is. I didn't buy anything. I'm also learning that thrifting is not necessarily about what I buy. It's about just like bringing you along for the experience. Today is a weird thrift because it's like going to like restores and stuff, but I did buy a, a door sweep for our garage door. I don't know why these are so expensive, but they are and it was cheap there. So I did get that one. I wanted that door so bad. Whoever gets it, it's such a good deal for them. Home Depot for like $90. So many wall tiles here. These are actually cool. This is really cute. It's 10 bucks. Love this color. This is so cool. This is gorgeous, $80. Oh, this is cute. We need a little fireplace in it, but it's cute. Frames, 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 frames. This is actually so cute. Cumberland Street in Toronto. Look at this table and these chairs. 500 for the set. And this bed frame is sick, along with this nightstand. Oh my God, that's beautiful. This table is wild. Lots of stuff. Brand new freestanding bathtub for $560. Look at this worked table. That'd be amazing in like a garage or something for working on projects, 500 bucks. Okay, this faucet, oh my God, $600, but it's so cool. $600, that's wild. Okay, well, I haven't had any luck, so we're heading here. This is so spooky and cool. It looks like it's fabric. This is cute, but it's literally a shitty brand for 11 bucks. This is kind of cute. It's not like incredible material or anything. Mark Jacobs. It's this dress. American Eagle, kind of a wide leg high waist pant. Okay, this little scalloped neck and sleeve is so cute. I don't really love this, but like layered under maybe like a strappy dress. Also love the neckline on this. This is cute too. I don't really love purple, but I like the neckline in this pocket. I'm only on the first row here and it's going pretty good. These are my childhood Christmas tree decorations these apples. We used to have apples and ladders with these little like men climbing the tree. It makes me want to get them. Also look, a little German Sheppy. I'm not gonna get this because I have one that's like really similar to it. It just looks like this is an older version, but basically I have this. This is cute. Look at this. Dress. Oh my god. What? Okay, so we are home. Thoughts on the thrift is I just felt like I had to go to a lot of places to find anything. That last value village was actually two value villages. I just feel like I haven't had 
like luck at the thrift in a long time. Also feeling like I'll spend an entire day thrifting and have like no content for you because I like didn't find anything cool. I love thrifting, whether or not I get something. I mean, obviously we want to find something that we love, but it's just not the way the cookie crumbles. You know, I do watch people who, you know, get 10 to 20 items per like thrift video. I feel like you're just don't re-donating that stuff and using it for the content. Do you know what I mean by that? So I'm gonna start a new series and it's gonna allow me to thr leave the thrift store with nothing if that's what happens. Stay tuned for that. I'm gonna try to do them like weekly cause I like to go thrift once a week. Let's be, let's be serious. I'm cooking something up. I'm hoping that you guys will enjoy it. Anyways, that being said, I did get a couple things. Let me show you. I got this slip dress. It has like a lace bottom to it and I just, wanted something really simple like this. So I'm hoping this will be really cute, even just over like the Harley Davidson shirt that I'm currently wearing. I just feel like it's a vibe. Then I found this shirt and like it had this really cute scalloped edge with like the red, which I think is really pretty. Okay, has that on the arm as well. So I'm thinking this could be a really great layering piece. Even if it were like popping out of this Harley shirt, I'm thinking like over some sort of jumpsuit thing. I think it would be so cute because the rest of it looks like this and I just don't, I don't care for that. But I really love the idea of using this as a layering piece. Found this 100% linen black jumper. Super, super, super soft. Has like super wide legs. Look at my thoughts here were like either one, I really like it and I just wear it all the time or two, this could be my DIY jumpsuit. I was actually explaining to Michael how, you know, I have the painter like coveralls. I would love something that's like a DIY outfit so something that can get dirty or whatever but like more of a jumpsuit because the coveralls is a lot sometimes it's very hot to, when I wear those but anyways it was 15 bucks a little pricey but linen super cute I did end up getting these apples that are from my childhood I'd love to have a, like a secondary Christmas tree that maybe just has like some ornaments from my childhood on it they were five bucks and again just nostalgia something i love to find at the thrift is anything like terracotta i found this bowl i thought it'd be good for like grapes in my fridge i always have grapes i don't really like this i'm gonna take that off all of my terracotta glasses and stuff are from the thrift i just feel like it's a great place to find that stuff 2.99 and then also i got this bag i don't know hear me out for one second really liked that when you open it it's got the place for your cards in the bag i also have a black bag that's like square and i feel like the zipper is annoying and i feel like it's always open and just like stuff's falling out of it i also liked that the straps were in the middle so the bag actually sits flat against you instead of having the clips on the side. I'm not usually a big bag thrifter, but I thought she was a cutie. So that's everything I got. I know that I don't do as much thrift content anymore. And the truth is that I used to thrift and there were fitting rooms that were open. Value Village, at least in Canada, has closed its fitting rooms. And they're not reopening them. But it used to be like, you know, if I did a 15 minute video, maybe seven minutes of that content would be me trying stuff on, showing you, talking about what I like, what I don't like about it. And I can't do that anymore. And it's really hard for me to buy something without knowing if it fits. Um, these things are quite oversized things. So I was okay with that, but I'm gonna try to thrift, you know, at places where I can try stuff on, Goodwill, Tilly's and stuff. That is it, that is all. See you in my next one.